how did you get the ideas for your four businesses? Were there any needs that you were filling? Tell us more about the ideas. Well, I believe uh, all of the uh, businesses served a need. To me, I kind of found that as fundamental, but you're right, you know, some people don't think about that. Um, at 36 years old with uh, two children and one on the way, I didn't have the luxury of trying something that didn't have a high probability of success. I had to put food on the table, pay for tuitions, pay the rent, and uh, I was loaded with obligations. So the uh, whole idea of proving your idea, it came second nature. Um, I believe here's a need. Uh, I would ask customers if in fact this service or product would solve that need. If they said yes, then I would try and transition that into a pre-order contract and then I would start up. I did that in three of the four businesses which have been successful. The one business that I did not do it and fully follow through was the magazine that I talked about earlier. I got validation that the idea was appropriate, but I never asked for the pre-order. And after I lifted the magazine off, revenue was slow in coming because um, they didn't necessarily believe that it was worth spending the money to underwrite what I was offering. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the four businesses that you started. Uh, one business, the first business, was a real estate outsourcing business. It was a tr classic B2B business, business to business. I felt comfortable in that environment uh, because I came from it. I saw a tremendous need for uh, a non-core service area uh, like real estate to be outsourced. That was probably the first business. The second was uh, there was a uh, oversupply or surplus of real estate flooding the market in the early 90s. And uh, I just thought, wow, there's got to be a better way uh, to connect buyer and seller uh, to make the world aware of what's available. And that was the magazine business. I do believe there was a need there. Uh, but that business, I did not secure the pre-orders. I didn't have the distinctive competence, as I mentioned, and that business ultimately failed. The other business was a technology business, and it was a natural offshoot of the real estate service business. The product that we developed is called Sequentra Solutions. It was set up as a separate company. It was sold as a software as a service, uh, and it's still sold today, and it's one of the dominant solutions in the commercial uh, real estate services industry for corporations. The last business is my current business, uh, which is called uh, Blue Sunsets LLC. Uh, it basically does three things. It does real estate development projects. It invests as an angel investor in startups and small businesses, and it uh, publishes the books that we're publishing. 